so I'm here to show you the apartment tour for the hotel that I'm staying at this weekend. So when you first walk in the door, there's a washer and a dryer all in one. And microwave. There's me. Coffee machine, toaster. And then there's a nice big shoe closet here. Here's the full kitchen. There's everything but an oven. They have all your cutlery in here. There's a dishwasher. There's a nice big fridge. Ooh, I didn't notice this. Is this a kimchi fridge? No. Oh, there's a rice cooker up here. Handy if you want to actually live here. There's the freezer. And then I'll take you this way first. So this goes into the bathroom. There's a toilet with a bidet. And there's a huge shower that has the the rainfall, waterfall type of shower head to it. And then you can come over here. There's a bathtub with a TV. It's a big deep soaking tub. Although it's too bad there's not jacuzzi jets in it. That would have been fun. Here's the sink area. And then this is the bedroom. There is a nice chaise, I think is what it's called. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. And actually when I booked the hotel, I thought it was only gonna be this room. I didn't realize it came with like a whole apartment because they didn't really show pictures of that. And then huge floor to ceiling windows with beautiful views of Incheon Island. As you can see, they're building a lot of new buildings down there too. So it's pretty nice right now because it's a relatively clear day. And moving over here, oh, there's a TV there. So I think there's three TVs total. One in the bedroom, one in the living room, and one in the bathroom. Another huge window. This is actually just the walk-in closet. So that'll be handy to hang up all my clothes. And then moving back into the living space, the main living space. So there's the kitchen where we just were. And then if you come out this way, there is a nice big dining room table. And there's the huge TV. Another huge view of the outside and a huge couch and coffee table. So I would, so far, definitely recommend staying here. I'm gonna go look at the fitness center and check that out later. But yeah, I'm looking forward to enjoying my stay. Bye. Central Park and this is the first time I've been outside all day because it's been raining it was so sealed but anyways I'll kind of give you a little tour around here so here's my hotel in the background it's so tall it goes into the sky and if you look over here there's a little place where you can rent boats so there goes some people right now. So pretty. I feel kind of weird doing this in public, but basically I'm just walking around Central Park right now. And it's really pretty. You can see there's the hotel in the background there. And the Sheridan see it it's that building
just saw this guy walking and I thought he was carrying a big bag of golf clubs and it was actually his wife wearing a really weird hat. Gotta love those Ajima hats. So there's this really modern elevator to take you to the second floor of this old Hanuk. like all these are Korean style restaurants and looks like this one over here is a coffee shop. So I straightened my hair right before I came here and it's already super frizzy. So it's day three of my vacation and here's the room service breakfast that I ordered. I didn't realize it was going to be this big, otherwise I probably would have just ordered one small thing. But yeah, it's kind of weird that they serve vegetables in the American breakfast, which Americans don't eat vegetables so at breakfast time, I mean. I mean, not like broccoli usually. So there's the hotel from a distance. And the ocean's on just the other side. I don't think there's a beach here though. That's kind of a bummer. I don't think this is water that you'd really want to swim in anyways though. So here's the view of the whole city. Yeah. 